Hi, I'm Ashlyn, Michigan's lead and copper rule specialist. There have been a lot of changes in the lead and copper world recently, and we know water supplies have been working hard to meet these changes. Let's make sure we're all on the same page with what has changed and what will be changing in the future. As of October 16th, 2024, water supplies were required to submit a complete distribution system materials inventory to Eagle and make it publicly available on request per the federal lead and copper rule revisions. If a water supply serves more than 50,000 people, the inventory must also be available online. Since 2018, Michigan water supplies have been required to notify homes served by lead service lines or galvanized service lines previously connected to lead within 30 days. After October 16, 2024, water supplies are also required to notify homes served by lead status unknown service lines within 30 days. Supplies must also repeat this notification annually until the service line is replaced or determined to never contain lead. Water supplies must also now issue a 24-hour Tier 1 public notice if they have a lead action level exceedance or ALE. It is recommended that all water supplies have a communications plan in the event of a lead action level exceedance. As of January 1, 2025, the Michigan Lead and Copper Rule has lowered the lead action level from 15 parts per billion to 12 parts per billion, beginning with samples taken on or after January 1, 2025. The copper action level remains at 1.3 parts per million. When preparing to distribute consumer confidence reports, also known as CCRs, by July 1st of each year, water supplies should be sure to use the new updated lead health language. Check the most recent CCR template on Eagle's website for the new language. Going forward, water supplies should continue following the Michigan Lead and Copper Rule and the changes from the federal Lead and Copper Rule revisions that we've covered. The Lead and Copper Improvements, also known as LCRI, were finalized last year and the requirements will be in effect no later than November 1st, 2027. Michigan must go through its rulemaking process to adopt the federal changes. We'll have more information about changes in requirements when we have completed this process. For more information or to contact us, visit michigan.gov LCR. You can also check out the Eagle calendar for upcoming trainings, conferences, and webinars. Thank you, drinking water professionals, for what you do every day to provide safe drinking water in Michigan.